Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalms 42, verse 2 to 3. And it says, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? I repeat, My soul thirsts for God. For the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. So here was a psalmist speaking about his soul. This, this um, um, book was written by the sons of Korah who um, were yearning for God in their distress. So it says, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. So here he was speaking about yearning of his soul. He, he had um, accepted God as his Lord and Savior. He was leading his life under the auspices of the instructions, the statutes and the precepts of God. And here he was facing a trial so he says my soul thirsts for god for the living god and the second bit says when shall i come and appear before god so here he was asking his he was asking questions he was um baconing on himself said when shall i come and appear before god when that means when am i gonna see god when am i gonna see the hand of god in my situation when is going god going to arise for my enemies when when is god going to um come to my rescue in my situation then it says my tears have been my food day and night here he's speaking about his cries here he's speaking about his um sorrow here he's speaking about his hope in God, his continuous hope in God, irrespective of what he was going through at that point in time, he still hoped in God. He said, my tears have been my food day and night. That means he has been crying for a long time. He has been shedding and weep, shedding tears and weeping for a long time because his tears is his food. His tears is his meat. That means his tears are rolling down from his eyes into his mouth then it says while they continually say to me where is your god where is your god so here he was crying here he was crying unto god he was beckoning unto god at this time of deep distress and it says while they continually say to him where is your god so all those that are looking unto him all those are looking onto his belief system and looking for it onto his faith system and asking where is your god your god hasn't come up in your situation your god hasn't surfaced in your situation your god hasn't showed up in your situation where is your god where is he indeed but there 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 could be many reasons why why um there could be a delay in our blessings it could be or a delay in our answer um, answer to our prayers it could be as a result of sin it could be as a result of disobedience it's a, it could be seen it, it could be as a result of not following after the precepts and the status of God it could be as a result of of um, season us being in a particular season and we need to move on to another season before the hand of God also and equally is moved now i want to pray that god is able to expand our minds on this word that whatever we're going through as christians whatever down times we're going through as christians god will elevate us god will take us out from every dungeon god is the right hand of god will pull us out of every pit onto a place of rest onto a place of abundance onto a place of comfort onto a place where we would be able to have our testimony singing in our mouth continually day and night all this i ask through 
Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.